Hey what's up guys, back to you again another book review and this time I'm going to be doing a spoiler talk review of Stephen King's It, uh, published in 1986 and uh, this is the cover, it's all ripped up uh, unfortunately I put it in my backpack one day and it's it got demolished but uh, here's the uh, book itself and uh, the back and uh, the front SK stands for Stephen King it's a very big brick, 1138 pages long very great story. Um, so if you don't know what the story is, you know, or if you don't care about spoilers, if you don't care about reading the book, then continue watching. But if you want to read the book, then definitely stop this video right now, and then read the book. And after you're finished with the whole book, come back and watch this review. But anyway, um, the book is about a town in Maine called Derry in 1958, and uh, basically. Um, the seven nerdy best friends basically find out that uh, there's like children in the town who are gone missing and are being killed and they find out that it's being caused by a supernatural force of evil It takes the shape of a clown and they basically band together and try to stop it once and for all when they're kids and they go in the sewers and, and uh, try to kill it. Uh, and uh, they think they killed it, and then 27 years later they found out that they didn't kill it, and that it's come back and starting to kill more and more children, so they come back to the town and reunite and try to kill it again once and for all. And that's uh, pretty much the whole uh, story bit, and uh, it's a phenomenal read. Um, finished it uh, for the second time not too long ago, and I was really, really pleased with reading it again. And um, Definitely, it's one of those books like where you want to read a hundred pages at a time. Um, I did read like 500 pages like in five days, but like I wanted to like read it in like in like uh, like at least like 12 days. But fortunately, like I got like sidetracked on a lot of stuff, so I actually took a lot longer. It took about like a month, so like it wasn't really all that bad. It took about like a month, I think, or something like that. Um, but yeah, it was a good read. Yeah, it was good reading it again. I also wanted like to read it uh, uh, for fun, and also wanted to read it to refresh my memory, uh, especially because the new remake is coming out in September. So, and also I love the the uh, original movie from 1990, the ABC miniseries for TV. And uh, yeah, I grew up with that one a lot. And then I grew up, and then I read the book when I got older. And the book is a lot more graphic. Uh, there's some very nasty parts, like uh, this, like the scene in the beginning where. Um, you should know, uh, well, a, a lot of people should know this part, when uh, Georgie is killed by Pennywise, uh, he uh, pulls his arm out of his socket and everything, it's really, really disturbing, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy, it's pretty violent, so if you're squeamish, then definitely do not bother with this book, and there's a lot of uh, pedophilia undertones, so be aware of that, so if you're offended by any of that stuff, or like, or like a victim of that stuff, you don't want to uh, be involved like with anything like that, then you might not want to read it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, child abuse, uh, domestic abuse, stuff like that, um, graphic language, racism, sexism, uh, homophobia involved, and uh, there's like also um, just like uh, very, very uh, graphic killings uh, by the monster, I'll tell you that. And, um, What's great about the story is, I have to say, uh, like, how, like, it goes back and forth with, like, how, like, it shows, like, the seven friends, like, how they all met and stuff like that. I thought that was really neat. And there's, like, a lot more backstory about the uh, creature uh, who takes the form of a clown, Pennywise, a dancing clown, or a.k.a. Mr. Bob Gray. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like, they explain that how that he was, like, well, that the monster, uh, what was, like, actually, like, born, like, way, way before, like, the universe was, like, created, and the universe was created by his enemy, the turtle, who was, like, the only thing that could, like, destroy him at the time, and then, like, when, uh, when the universe was created, he came onto Earth and started feeding on people, and stuff like that, and, uh, yeah, I know it's, it's, I know it's a really, really strange story, it is, let me tell you, it's a really strange story, but, you know, it's Stephen King, and Stephen King is on for doing that, so uh, props for him for doing that, and uh, I have to say that this book is definitely his best work. A lot of people say The Stand is, but Stand, uh, The Stand is one of his all-time best, but I have to say this one is a lot better than The Stand, but uh, yeah, but The Stand is actually up there, like I'm not saying that The Stand is bad or anything like that, it is very good too, classic as well, but this one is a lot better in my opinion, so um, uh, yeah. <clears throat> 
and then they get into like more detail about like the monster and how that like the monster is like a female. Um, uh, they actually find out that the, that it's true form to feed on people is a giant spider, and that it's a female spider, and that it had like hundred, over hundreds of eggs, and then one of the kids ended up having to like squish all all the eggs like in order to like stop like the killings from happening again and then one of the kids ends up uh, getting killed by the monster his arm gets bitten off and he bleeds to death and then there's this one kid um like well that happens when they're all adults by the way when uh, one of the kids dies uh, he, he's grown up and then he gets his arm bitten off it's uh, very disturbing and then uh there's this uh, one scene like where one of the kids uh, all grown up gets called up by one of the friends uh, who stays in the town, Mike Hamlin, uh, he calls his friend Stan, and uh, uh, when he gets the call, uh, he goes in his bathtub and slits his wrist and uh, um, takes his blood and writes the word "it" on the on his shallow wall. It's pretty gross, but uh, yeah. And a lot of crazy stuff happens in this book, and you know, it's just like a lot of uh, very controversial stuff happening in this story. And there's like a scene like where. Um, all the kids have sex and everything. It's just really crazy, but um, yeah, so like all the kids names are Bill, Mike, Stan, Beverly, Eddie, Richie, and Ben. And those are all the characters' names, and uh, yeah, it was a, uh, it's a very good story. Um, if you want to learn more about the monster or anything like that, um, if you saw the miniseries, if you want to learn more, definitely check out the book. And, like, even though, like, if you're not familiar with Stephen King, and even though, like, if it is long, then definitely give it a try anyway. But, like, if you don't like it, then, like, then, you know, you don't like it. But if you like it, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from everybody. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, because I don't want to give anything uh, else away, because there really isn't, any, it really isn't anything else to really talk about. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed my spoiler review talk. If you guys want me to do any more movie reviews, book reviews, anything like that, rants, reviews, anything like that, anything you want, uh, let me know down below as well. Love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.